In today's video, we will be looking at the Corsair CX450M power supply. So this is a 450 watt power supply from Corsair, which is semi-modular. Obviously semi-modular means the ATX and the EPS cable are connected to the power supply, but you have the modular cables for all the rest of your cables like the ones to your graphics card, the PCI Express cables, SATA cables. So we'll be taking an unboxing of this power supply and I'll be sure of showing you the cables, the cable lengths and just generally what you get with this power supply. For graphics cards, obviously this power supply is only 450 watt so you will have to be a little bit careful with what graphics card you put with it. I would say anything up to a GTX 1650 Super would probably be fine. I think once you get into the sort of GTX 1660 and the sort of, you know, the sort of RTX 3050 and even like the GTX 1070 and what have you, you're kind of getting over the power limit of this little uh, little power supply. So yeah, with obviously more hungry graphics cards, obviously be a, bit, a little bit careful. This is only 450 watt power supply, so don't go overboard, obviously. So here we go with the unboxing. So first of all, in the box we have a little information pamphlet, just sort of talking about the power supply and what have you. It's sort of standard stuff, obviously. Here are all the cables. These are the actual ones, which are the modular cables. And I'll just have a look at those in a little bit. We have some cable ties, which is really nice, actually. And there's also four screws for pa for plugging in um, for screwing in your power supply into your case. We also get a three pin UK plug. So obviously that should be region specific. So if you're in Europe or USA, you should get the correct one. But obviously I'm in UK, so we get the UK one. And here is the power supply. Obviously just your on off button here and your standard power cable connector here. Nothing much to see there. We have a 120 millimeter fan at the bottom. This is just a normal black fan. So obviously no RGB or anything like that. Coming to the back now. Obviously this is where you connect up your cables. We have the SATA. We have two SATA cables there. And we have a PCI Express connection as well. So obviously you're only gonna get the one PCI Express, so you're not gonna get like uh, massive uh, graphics cards in obviously, which are where, or, or even multiple graphics cards, you are gonna only have one graphics card if you're gonna connect this up. But obviously uh, only being a 450 watt power supply is obviously a limit in itself. I'll put all the wattage like uh, label and everything and I'll do some B-roll so you can all see that. But yeah, that's pretty much the 12 volt is giving you a whole 450 watts from the 12 volt line. So that's actually very good. Obviously, that's a sign of a good power supply. And also the weight test, I feel it's actually quite weighty. So that's a good sign as well. Again, weight tests with power supply aren't really like Pacific and, you know, they're not like 100%. But generally, with power supplies, the heavier it is, the more I trust the power supply. So yeah, um, let's move on to the... Uh, Cables, the modular cables that you get with it. Once you take out the cables, you're not going to you're not going to need the bag anymore anyway. So it's not really too bad. Although it would have been nice to have maybe like some kind of little pouch or something and something that you could actually put your uh, cables in. But who cares really? So um, let's have a look at the. Okay, how many cables? We actually get three cables, which is nice. This is the SATA one, so it, it connects in at the power supply here. As like a little six pin and then you have four SATA, SATA connections here okay so it's about 70 centimeters or so you get there so in inches that is about 28 inches or so so yeah that's the first cable so your next cable is for your Molex and that actually has three connectors, three molex connectors, and like a sort of floppy disk type one, but you probably won't use that, but anyway. And obviously it connects in that six pin, that same sort of six pin, as we've seen before uh, with the uh, SATA cables. 
And again, that's sort of about 60, sort of five centimeters or so. So a little bit shorter than the SATA one, but sort of the same. Lastly is our PCI Express cable. Now, as I said, you can't get like massive graphics cards on here. So we only have two six pins with the additional four pins. So basically two eight pins for one graphics card, really. I mean, technically, if you've got graphics cards that only have uh, six or eight pin connectors, if they've, if they've only got one connector each, then technically you could get two graphics cards in here, but certainly don't do that. That's going to overload the uh, power supply far too much. But really, again, like I said, one graphics card in here, one graphics card up to two eight pin connectors. But even then, I'd probably say be careful because it's only a 450 watt power supply. So obviously don't 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 be putting a an RTX 3070 or 3080 in there basically. Um, so again, sort of about 60 or centimeters or so in length. So that's going to reach a graphics card, no problem. So let's just measure the power supply now. So it's quite a shallow power supply. In the depth is only 140 millimeters or 14 centimeters. That's nice. And obviously width wise is about 15 centimeters or 150 millimeters. And then height wise is obviously this is all just standard power supply sort of um, height. It's about sort of uh, 90, uh, 90 millimeters or about nine centimeters or so. If you are looking for a power supply, which will do your job. I mean, I only paid, I think it's about 27 pounds for this. And this was obviously a bargain. Uh, this was obviously, <laughs> I mean, I kind of only really get bargains, don't I? So <laughs> uh, that's kind of what I'm uh, known for. So, uh, or sort of like this channel's known for anyway, more of like a bargain sort of, uh, you know, we look, we look at bargains here at, on this channel and try and get you hardware bargains and try and get you cheap components and things which are good but I mean this is Corsair this isn't like your normal sort of like you know your kind of more sort of generic type power supply manufacturer this is Corsair this is decent this is this is a proper brand so I would say I would have no problem with this um, so yes going back towards the specification this is this is actually 80 plus bronze this is actually 80, 80 plus bronze power supply so again fantastic efficiency if you are obviously concern about that, which I think most people are now with obviously the uh, cost of living and the whole, uh, you know, uh, energy prices obviously costing a lot more. So this will be, if you are building like a more budget system and you're wanting to have very good efficiency and not use too much power, then obviously 80 plus bronze, obviously power supply is gonna be good for that as well. So efficiency wise, good, nice little units, very small, but you know, does the job has the semi-modular cables and it, and it only cost me 27 pounds so really happy with this bargain and you know i think you would be too if you did buy this i might put links below or what have you and you can certainly visit the manufacturer website if you wanted to as well but yeah i hope you like this very quick little unboxing i am going to try and get more videos out for you guys um i'm kind of thinking maybe two videos a week but we'll see i hope you obviously like this video guys and Please drop us a like if you do like this content and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.